Vamos a Colombia. So, Cartagena is pretty nice. Español, por favor. <laughs> uh, speaking Spanish definitely helps. There's a lot of street food. Um, a lot of tourists, though. Did not expect to be this much tourists. And um, doesn't feel very, very, very safe, especially at night, like right now. You always have to take a look at what you're what you're wearing, you never know. Also, people drive here like crazy. Like, cars all over in tiny, tiny streets. And uh, you have to look out where you walk because there are cars, uh, bikes, uh, motorcycles, dogs, horses on the same street and pedestrians. So look out wherever you walk. Mall, super nice, uh, pretty modern mall. Um, everyone here is a tourist, like there is no other option. But it's super nice, super pretty, and more acceptable prices, I guess, and a lot of shopping. So we're here in Playa Tranquila. Here's the plane. Muy tranquila, like you can see. There's not many people swimming, but we've been waiting uh, the guide to tell us what to do. We should eat soon, maybe go snorkel, and spend the day here. So, gotta have fun. So that's Playa Tranquila, super nice beach, pretty quiet now because it's near sunset time. Um, it's very hot outside, water is hot too, not too bad, honestly, pretty fresh to swim in. Um, then some snorkeling, honestly wasn't the best I've done, so that's one thing, but beach is super nice, pretty quiet I would say, especially now since it's sunset again. Um, scenery is amazing, um, it's like a big island, so you can see the trees over there, super nice, you feel really in nature, and uh, yeah, some Colombian music of course to go with it. wall, the old wall of Cartagena, uh, that's still there, we could walk the whole wall that uh, enters, like, sorry, goes around the city, and we have the beach right here, and yeah, it's super nice to walk on the wall, it's uh, not a very long walk, but it goes all around the city, so I would say like half an hour walk to maybe an hour walk, super nice, especially in summer, because it's windy up here, a bit windy, so you feel less the heat. It's super nice that we have access to that and everybody could walk here. Just as I arrived in Santa Marta. Actually a really cute city, didn't expect that. It's 
smaller, like the downtown is smaller, very touristy as you can see. Um, but the city is actually big. You feel like you're more in nature than Cartagena for sure. It's very, very hot, pretty dry too. I mean, there's cactuses all over. Oh. And it's a pretty colorful city. Uh, a lot of tourists, again, especially in the center where I'm right now. As you can see here, tourists, more tourists, tourists everywhere. Um, so far it's nice. The, the trip from Cartagena to, to here took, took us four hours. Actually not that bad. In a little bus, like a van. Expected worse, but it was actually good. It had air conditioning. We made a stop in the middle to like, to pee, you know. And, uh, but I highly suggest you, you bring like snacks with you along the way or food because there won't be much to eat on, uh, on the streets. He's a boyfriend. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, already I've been, I put my feet like two minutes here in Santa Marta and I've already proposed me coke <laughs> and marijuana, but that's uh, nothing compared to coke, I guess. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty easy to get coke if you're into that. Don't suggest it, but not that hard to get to. Not exactly Minka, but it's called Carpe Diem. Very close to Minka, and you can see the mountains. The weather is amazing. We're in a resort where we have three pools, uh, many other stuff. Super nice, super quiet, cozy. Uh, weather is amazing again. There's many waterfalls nearby, and uh, also many hikes. So it's perfect to be in nature. today it was it was super super nice uh, natural escape um, the environment was super nice nature was magnificent we, we've seen waterfalls uh, the mountains uh, we did a hike it was super nice a bit hot but I mean it's perfect because we had pools at the hotel so amazing weather honestly we met a lot of people many tourists that love to travel go there people from all around the world, like Netherlands, um, USA, UK, amazing, Germany, a lot of German people, I don't know why, but... <laughs> and we left this morning and today we're going to Cabo San Juan in the Tyrona Park. And uh, so we're gonna update, update you on that. So we're here, we just arrived at Cabo San Juan. Honestly, I would say one of the worst boat rides, well not one of the worst, the worst boat ride of my life. It was horrible, 
Uh, I feared for my life, basically. Um, many, uh, everyone feared for her, for their life. I mean, it's beautiful though. We're at the camping, the camping zone right now. Everybody's camping here. Um, the beach is beautiful. I mean, honestly, it's super nice, quiet. Not much people, but the boat ride, I, I don't, I don't suggest it at all. It took one hour and a half. There were so many big waves, and this was a calm water, and we were all wet all the way. Uh, we almost got injured. Somebody vomited on the boat. Uh, what else? Like honestly, it was it was horrible. And now we're gonna have to take a go to go back. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna be, but it's an experience, experience of a lifetime. If I had to redo it, I would take either the bus or just walk in the park and hike but no more boat honestly I thought the boat would be nice but no and uh, obviously I was in front of the boat so that's even worse so stay in the back if you can because being in the front you're gonna feel all the waves Little hike in Cabo San Juan, Ty Tyrona Park, next to Cabo San Juan. In the forest, super cool. Uh, yeah, you have to look out where you put your feet because ooh, a lot of moist here. And uh, super nice, nature is amazing. You see all kinds of animals here. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I had very low expectations for the city so far. Just the ride from the airport of uh, Medellin to the, the Airbnb we were staying in, amazing. Like the nature in the city, in the modern city, you can see bamboo, forest trees, really nice. I can't show you now because it's pretty early, but nature is everywhere. So far, I love it. It's very modern, clean. People drive way better than Cartagena and Santa Marta. So far, awesome. Now we just arrived at Piedra del Penol, yeah. El Peñol, here it is, and we're gonna go climb it. It's uh, 759 steps, if uh, what they told me is correct. Uh, we're not up there yet, but it looks amazing from here. Um, it's a half an hour climb if you walk uh, on average, I would say. It's doable in 10 apparently. So, <laughs> And I'll let you know in how much time we made it. I think we're gonna do it maybe in 20, something like that. The view here looks amazing. And uh, I'm gonna show you the view from up there. So see you soon in a few minutes. So we're at 250 steps. We wanted to do more, but there's a lot of people. <laughs> 
So we can't go faster than that, sadly. Our seven, I have 780, apparently. So we're almost at a third, I would say. Would have loved to do it one shot, but if you want to come here, get prepared to have some people in front of you. Oh, there we go, 275. <laughs> but the views are amazing. It's worth it for the view. So made it to the top. Could have done it way faster. We did it in like 15 minutes, not even. Could have done it faster, but there were people on the road like blocking the way, so we had to slow down a bit. They're blocking. A bit tiring, honestly, if you're not young and fit, it's challenging. But I mean, if you're young and fit, it's super fine. The view, again, super nice. So I'm gonna show you another view now. So the tour here from Medellin cost us um, 94,000 pesos plus 20 if you want to climb up uh, to Piedra del Peñol, Peñol which is uh, El Asensio in Espanol, which is like 100 and, uh, 114 per person, which is very, well, 1,000 pesos, which is very, very acceptable. Honestly, I highly suggest it so far. We also have like included is the bus ride coming and going from Beijing. Um, at the lunch, we have a boat tour apparently that we're gonna do next. And uh, we have a private guide, English and Spanish. Amazing. Salento, very nice little city. Hold on. Oops. We just arrived from uh, Medellin. Salento is very small yet very, very pretty. Feels very, um, well, it's very col colorful. You'll see it in the ne next clips. Uh, so far, um, weather is okay, very okay so far, although there's a lot of clouds and it says that it's gonna rain in the next hour, so we're gonna see. Apparently it rains pretty much every day here, so let's see. And now we're gonna go, we're gonna head to a coffee tour. And uh, what's the name? Hold on. Uh, Arsasia. Arsasia. So we're gonna do the Arsasia coffee tour. And tomorrow, mañana, we're gonna do the Valle de Cocora. Very hyped for that, it's gonna be a big hike. But uh, looking forward to it, hoping it won't rain. So we're going now to the Finca La Arzacia uh, to do the coffee tour and here as you can see there are many jeeps that leave every hour so they're pretty cheap it's like 3,000 uh, going, 3,000 for return so 6,000 just for to go and return the Finca we're going to costs 25k um, which is very, pretty cheap uh, it's an hour and a half tour or something like that the one we're going to is very traditional so we're gonna see what it is very, very well rated apparently it's pretty good so we're gonna go see it and if you want to come here don't worry about like the transport they have jeeps they're prepared for everything they leave every hour so you'll be fine up at 6 today, we're at Valle del Cocora, gonna go do the 5-6 hour hike, 
Uh, it's a bit cold, hoping it won't rain, but apparently it's gonna rain. So, let's see. So the hike is six hours long. We decided to do it the hard way because there's a start where you could start to the right yeah, and you could start to the left. Left is the hard way apparently because you finish going down and it's so muddy that you have to rent boots. Um, so let's see how that's gonna happen. Mirador number two. Look at the views. Really impressive. Uh, started at seven the hike. It's now 8.30. So I would have said an hour and a half to get here, but we did like a 15 minute break. So yeah, an hour, an hour and a half, an hour and 15 to get here. And amazing views. Currently we're at the top of the 4.5 kilometer trail. Uh, I'm vlogging, I know. Yeah, <laughs> First vlog ever. <laughs> Let's see what it's gonna give. So that's the view from up there. Um, very nice. I prefer the other view though. <laughs> now we're gonna go back. We can't do the full hike yes, because the road is closed. I don't know why. Uh, probably because it rained so much yesterday that the floor is very bad I don't know but that's the, the last point we can get at for today so 4.5 4 kilometers up now 4.5 kilometers down so it's better to come early because for two reasons first reason uh, there was no one we were the only ones here <laughs> second reason uh, we had sun, so we could see all the view. Actually, there's a like, big mountain in front, and we can't see them. So this is what happens when you say, it's fine, it's fine, it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last two days here, spending them in Isla, Isla Bomba, Tierra Bomba, sorry, just in front of Boca Grande, Cartagena. So we can enjoy the beach a little bit before heading back home. Pretty quiet. There isn't much people in the hotel, but uh, super nice. Weather is amazing. For our last day, we're spending it here at the Be Live uh, Dubai Hotel in Cartagena. Well, Dubai Hotel, whatever. And uh, look at this view. That's the view from up there. And there's a rooftop bar that opens at night, I guess. And yeah, the view is really nice. We could see here like old town Cartagena, historic center. I don't know if you could see here exactly. Yeah, and unfortunately the, the beach is closed, the whole beach is closed for today for I don't know what reason. There's works going on and it's a nice day to relax for, uh, for like the final day here. And then tomorrow heading back to Canada in the cold.
actually greatly organized this trip. Uh, we did like five or six different cities. Everything went great, smoothly. Um, I loved like the way I organized stuff. What I would have done differently though, is maybe add one more day in Minka because it was super, super nice and it was worth it to stay one more, one more day or one more night and um, potentially maybe spend another day in Tairona, maybe do a bigger hike than the one I did um, to see maybe more of nature and animals. If I had more time, I would have done the Ciudad Perdida, which is a three, four day hike, but fortunately I didn't have time in two weeks. But honestly, for two weeks, oh yeah, and one less day in Cartagena in the end it was not really worth it. I mean, three days was more than enough. Uh, there isn't much to do other than the beach in Cartagena.